friends. I hope you're having an outstanding, fabulous day. It's beautiful and sunny here. Not in Maryland. I'm in Delaware. It's Trike Fest. Yes, Trike Fest is still continuing. And we have Trixie all loaded up. We have some water. We have, just in case, we have a homeless bag. We have bug spray. We're going to Lum's Pond. But we're parked right alongside the canal. I don't know if you can see it. You can hear some boats. We might check, stick our heads down there to see if we can see any ships later when we come back. There's some traditional bicyclists right there. And uh, got some people in the parking lot. See the people in the parking lot? And we're going over to Lum's Pond. We're parking here and we're gonna ride across the road and then go on a trail. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have not, please, boom, smash that subscribe. Click on the like, click on the bell, tell your friends and share it. Let's roll. Off my friends, it's already starting to warm up and the parking lot's already filling up. Let's go over to our destination. We are off to Lum's Pond. Get on the main drag. I'm gonna turn my light on. Turn my headlight on, my tail light, so nobody hits us. We are in a bike lane. Delaware is kind of a bike friendly. There's bikes on the back of that car. Delaware is a bike friendly state. Now we gotta get over, but Got to make sure there's no cars coming. This is why you get mirrors, so you can see. All right. Let's go this way. I've never been here before. It says it's good for biking, hiking. I just saw a jogger. If it's like this the whole way, we should be fine. If it gets a little bit more rugged, then we'll be turning around. My Relive app shows it up pretty good. It's nice and cool in the shade though, I can tell you that. All right, I met a new friend on the trail, Pete. He just got an e-bike and he loves it. And the incredible thing is, he also rides a traditional bike, uh, but he's disabled. Uh, battling cancer, gone through a ton of treatment. Cancer has ravaged and the treatment has ravaged his bones. And so he got an e-bike to make life easier. So he's riding the e-bike and he was telling me that he comes on this trail all the time and he's gonna ride around the whole lake, the pond, just like me. He's gonna go get lunch and come back and do it again. Hi there. Hi. Hello. Hi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Off to the ditch. Balance, stability from this trike. So anyway, Pete is, uh, is a new e-biker. And he had a folding bike, very similar to my Folden Ox. Different brand now. Pretty red color. So the lesson there from that meeting those people, try to move over and be nice but don't be so nice that you crash. That's how I crashed on my Roxanne. Uh, Pete told me it's like eight miles. So what we might do is just go around the lake once, just explore the campground a little bit, and then go back over to the, um, to the canal. I have my Outdoor Master helmet on and sunglasses, but I did not um, bring my cooler bag because I didn't bring anything to put in it. I didn't uh, bring any supplies or cold beverages. I got a couple bottles of water. There ain't no wood in water. Got a couple bottles. Mickey's going to hate this video too because of the bells. Up the hill. Yeah, you saw it. We made it. It's 
long as it's like this, we'll make it the whole way. Arguably, this is ADA, uh, kind of close to being ADA friendly. Sorry, Mickey. We've been hitting bumps and sticks and rocks and all, and the uh, front suspension fork has just been chewing it all up. It's nice and cool. the lake. I keep calling it a lake. There's the pond. Fat tire TK1 would be more suited for this. You see the cornfield? There's a doggy. Hi, little buddy. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, bud. Hi, buddy. Hi, handsome. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hello, baby. Hi, buddy. Hi, handsome. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Hello. Are you waiting for us? You know what? Uh, I was, but only because. Let me turn off my camera. You're in my. You can be in my YouTube video. But everybody, all my subscribers know I rescue puppies and I love puppies. And when I saw this guy running, I was like. He looks like a white version of my Oscar. I have a, I have a retriever mix. All right, we just saw a couple of nice people and a couple of beautiful pupper dogs. Two little girls, Talia and Lucy. Beautiful puppies. You know I love puppies. I love puppies better than people. I love puppies more than people. Oh, we made it around to the more civil, more um, closer to civilization. More people here. Oh, there's a puppy dog, another puppy dog. Oh, there's puppy dogs swimming in the water. That's cool. Hi, buddy, buddy. Hi, pretty pupper dog. Drainage ditch. Yeah, the uh, TK1 is not having any issues. But would the wide tire TK1 be better? Yes, especially because it has gears. Four inch tires in the gears. And it has a little bit more power. Uh, actually, I think it has 85 newtons. This is 55. So it actually has like the, uh, uh, like 50% more power. That's a lot. All right, somehow we missed a turn. Oh, this is not any good. Pete, Pete told me to go down here. I don't mind the hill, 
But I think it's just taking me out to the road, which I could have gone down the other way for that. Oh, there's a trail. Maybe. Let's see. Let's, let's see. He says this will do it. This is a road. That's all right. Either way, we're going to... Either way, we're going to break 100 miles today and have some fun. What have I told you before about e-biking? And it's the same corollary for e-triking. You're never lost. You're just exploring. You're never lost. Oh, yeah. I think. I think we'll make this. If it's like this the whole way, we will. All right, somebody's having a party. Somebody's having fun. I don't smell any cooking yet. I see a lot of food and drink. All right, we're headed down to the water. So far, the Moon Cool TK1 has been admir admirable with regards to this trail. Nice. Oh, somebody's getting married today. That's cool. Look at the water. Whoa. That was bees. That was bees. I ran over a bee nest. Oh, look above. Rope things and stuff. Did you see those platforms? That's for like monkey climbs and monkey swim and stuff. Somewhere there's going to be a bridge. Cool. Oh, people are out in the water. Oh, we got to... The bridge hump was too big. So we had to go over the... Uh, had to walk over. The lift to get up from the bridge was too high. All right, we're going on the path right alongside the water. And uh, it's not a single track, but it is narrow. It is narrow. We've had to pull over for pedestrians. Uh, if it stays like this the whole way, it'll be not bad. If it narrows up like this, oh, it's gonna be, oh, that's gonna be actually a challenge. I don't wanna, what you don't wanna have happen is, tire poppage.
Worst comes the worst. Oh, we're not gonna make it over that either. Worst comes the worst. We are going to no tire poppage. Not this, not, we're so close to finishing it and at the same time so far away. We have gone 93, uh, 93. We've actually gone like eight miles. So the trail is actually a little bit more than what that guy said, which I, when he said eight miles all the way around, I was like, I don't know about that. Uh, Yeah, we do not need any tire poppage, whether it's a flat or the tire popping off. It would just be a pain in the butt. Hi there. How are you? I'm fine. How are you all? Did you guys catch a lot of fish? No. Uh, I don't catch any fish either. Well, hopefully you still have a, had a good time. Good, good for you. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Have a great day. This one we can make. And um, sheet and uh, I. Uh, yeah, another parking lot. Hi there. Hi. Pretty puppy dogs. I am up to this point. Very happy with, uh, like I only have it in pedal assist too now because it's more tighter and technical and turns, but I am very happy with how this trike has been performing. Hi there. Uh, on the wide stuff, no problem, but it's been doing pretty good on the narrow stuff too. One reason is the turning radius is nice and tight and uh, and the rear differential and the uh, just the design of the trike has provides stability. Now, if I had to do it over again, I probably would have cheated and not come this way. Uh, it's because it's making me work a little bit harder than let's say. Uh, that's an observation post. Now this is nice. I like this. It's nice and wide. Show me the wideness. I like it a lot. Show me the wideness. I like it a lot. And it's nice and smooth right here. Yeah. What are we going to do? We're running across a little, uh, I don't know, land bridge between two bodies of water. We are now officially across to the side of the pond that we started on, although we're still probably five or six miles away. Oh, 
Oh no. Damn it. Ah, uh, yes, we had to turn around. We were never gonna make the uh, trike on that. In fact, uh, I never would have made frickin' Roxy or Betty on that. So, yeah, that was a no-go. That was a no-go. That was Dummy Bruce. We are back in the woods. The woods. And we are on our way back to our starting point, which is, uh, well, God forbid something happened now. We probably only have about three or four miles to walk. The funny thing is, uh, even though this ride was significantly shorter, or will be significantly shorter, absent some kind of uh, drama, be it good or bad, um, much more exciting than just riding the canal. So what's the lesson? The lesson is, don't be afraid to take your trike uh, to different places. Don't be afraid to challenge your trike. Have a backup plan. My backup plan, worst comes to worst, I'll keep walking until I see somebody and I'll get some help. Or I'll call for help myself with my phone. Or my phone doesn't work, I'll keep pushing until somebody comes by and uh, get them the call, call for help. And what will the help be? It could be a friend, it could be family, whatever. Uh, get out and live life. Moon Cool TK1, three inch tires on this roughness. So far, we've been doing good. Wide tire TK1 would be eating this up even better. So, we're almost ready for a battery change. We changed the battery in our camera. These batteries last pretty good. That's a pretty good long time. I don't know why it won't connect. But, we are on our way back around. That's another way to get down to the canal. We have 100 miles. We actually have a little bit more than 100 miles. We went 13 miles today. 13 miles today. Hi there. Hello. And uh, we have 100 miles on the Trichomica. Hi there. So we're gonna do, we are gonna do a 100 mile review. There you go, 100 miles. We did 13 miles today, 
and we were on the bike for two hours and two minutes. And um, so what do I think of it after 100 miles? I still love it. I still love it. The, uh, remember, turn the bike off, preferably, or at least no power assist when you get on and off the bike and hold on to the brakes. We are turning the power off. I still love it. Seat, vacuum formed, foam, comfortable. 13 miles a day, no problems. No squeaks, no crazy rattles, no, no issues whatsoever. Um, by the time you see this, you'll see the range test, so you'll know how far you can go. Uh, I have nothing to say. It's a pretty benign review because uh, there has been no crazy drama with the bike other than fun, fun, fun. So I hope you all enjoyed this trip around Lums Pond. I hope you all realized how nimble, even on tight trails and turns, the trike is. I hope you realize how much fun you can have just getting out and exploring. I missed a couple turns, who cares? Uh, get out, live life, even at 15 miles an hour on a trike if you cannot ride an e-bike. I preach this all the time. It's one of the main reasons I started my YouTube channel. Get out, live life, buy an e-bike if you can't ride a bike. If you have mobility issues, get an e-trike. If you want this Moon Cool TK1, click on the link, use my code BRUCE200. You will save $200 off of any order, $1,500 or more, whether it's a trike and supplies or whatever. Thank you all for being my subscribers. Thank you all for being my friends. If you have not, boom, smash that subscribe. Click on that like, click on the bell, tell your friends, share my video. I love you all. See ya!